Hey guys, Cindy A. Lewis here. Am I ready for Christmas or what? I mean, you know, of course it's raining outside when I'm recording this and my hair got wet. So this was perfect, right? <laughs> anyway, it is time to open day eight, the door number eight in the Crafter's Companion Advent Calendar. And of course, I challenge myself to make something Christmassy out of whatever's behind that door. So we'll see how that goes today. But I am excited to tell you that I'm giving one of these away. And so all the details are in the December 1st video. That's linked below. If you're interested, go over there to that video, follow the instructions and good luck. I'm gonna give it away on December 24th. What a great Christmas present, right? Okay, so let's dig in and see what is behind door number eight. Opening this advent calendar with you is so much fun and I just love it. Don't want to waste any time today. We'll just jump right in. Open door eight. It's right here. It's a pretty good sized door. Have no idea what's behind it, but I'm excited to find out. So what do you think? All right, let's see. Uh oh, it's a stencil. Happy birthday, stencil. All right, I have an idea. All right, I am going to make a card for Christmas. I'm going to use the happy birthday on this pretty paper here from the Bethlehem collection. This is a Crafter's Companion collection that I purchased um, a long time ago. And it has this pretty gold color in there. And it has this beautiful blue, this navy, which is what I'm going to use for the card base and some pieces of the card. I'm gonna use some gold pigment ink. And in this set are some uh, stamps. And so I'm gonna do happy birthday uh, unto us a child is born. That's what I'm gonna stamp. And then also there is a paper craft die in here that has this little uh, Bethlehem scene with the manger and I'm gonna kind of do that so it's gonna be fun and we're gonna get started right now first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put my stencil on here and I love this background here so I want that kind of falling into it I'm using this metallic really pretty gold and I'm just gonna use a a finger dauber to daub that gold onto here. So I'm gonna hold it pretty close to um, to keep it from moving and I'm just going to test it out and see how it looks. I don't mind having some of the little pieces showing up through it, but um, it's not about the little confetti, I guess is what I wanna say. Because this is pigment ink, I can go ahead and emboss. And I have, it is gold, it's really pretty, but I do have gold embossing powder. So we're gonna try it and see how it comes out. I'm not sure about it, um, if it'll conflict with the color, but we'll try it and see. And it is a little bit different color gold than the ink, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, there it is. It is embossed and is pretty shiny. It's a little bit darker gold. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm going to put some gold behind the birthday and I'm gonna make the, a child is born on here on this blue and put the gold behind that to mat and layer it. So I'm gonna pick that up here on my stamping platform. And I'm gonna take my black to it. See how, oh, that looks so good. Look at that, that is really pretty. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside after I adhere them to the mat and layer and we're gonna work on the card. To send this through my midi, and you can see on this die, this is not a cutting edge, so I'm just going to lay it against the edge of the paper like this. And then I'm gonna take some low-tack tape and kind of hold it down. 
Okay, so for this card, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the Bethlehem scene with, um, you know, the little pieces, Mary Joseph and everything in the little stable. I'm going to put Unto Us a Child is Born on the front. And on the inside, I'm going to put Happy Birthday and I'm going to write Jesus on the inside in gold. So I think it'll look really pretty. And we're going to put this first. So we're going to put it over to the side. And this one, I'm going to glue down. I'm going to use the foam pads, uh, 3D foam, to adhere. And I have these small ones, and I think that's going to work the best so that you don't see them uh, through uh, the little windows everywhere. All right. So we're going to line this up about right here, I think is good. It just gives it that 3D effect. It just needs to glue down, so I'm still working with that. I'm going to go ahead and put the sentiment on since I know exactly where I want it. And this is just the 3D foam as well. Just putting those over there. So we're going to put this... Uh, can hang off a little bit. We'll just make the envelope a little bit bigger. So that's really pretty. Now I have my pieces here. This is the stable. And I'm just gonna use uh, some tacky glue to put that on Just little bitty pieces here. And that will do well there. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna put this right here on the edge of town there instead of over here and then Mary and Joseph we'll just pick it up if it's not too heavy there we go <laughs> these little pieces are a little bit hard to pick up okay and we'll put Mary and Joseph at the stable and make sure I get them even there we go, not even. So let me go ahead and put the twine on it and then we'll do happy birthday Jesus on the inside. That's gotta glue down. All right, so I'm just gonna take the twine uh, that I have, it's called Craft Trim. It's real pretty gold. And I'm gonna put it through the top of the card a few times. Just wrap it around. So I need to unravel some more of that. So this is what I mean. I just wrapped it around the top and put, made a little bow. Then on the inside, I'm going to take the happy birthday and make it the sentiment on the inside. But I'm giving it a little 3D foam here to stand out. So I'll make the card a little bit bulkier. I think that's okay. So we're going to line this up in the card. About in the middle. Just need to scoot it over just a little. All right. We're going to try the metallic markers. All right. So there we go. Not quite the same color as the other gold, but you get the point. Well, there you go. This is what I created for day eight with the happy birthday stencil. Let's see what door nine size is. All right, door nine, where are you for December 9th? Let's see, 14, 17, nine. Nine is up here, and it's a, a really long rectangle. So I think, it's a, um, I think it's a metal die. I think it's a paper craft die. What do you think? Maybe it's a stamp. I don't know. 
I don't know. Okay, well, I hope you'll come back tomorrow. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Thanks so much for joining me for this project, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you.